Hey guys, welcome to Ride Vepi the Ride Your Channel. My name is Serge, and in today's video, I want to tell you guys kind of like what's going on. So, as you can see, we got a $12 streak, and then we also got this challenge here that I'm working on. Um, obviously, um, they want me to do about 30 uh, extra rides on top of the 65 in order to claim that 190. So, it's like a 155 bonus and 190 bonus is like 345 dollar bonus that is going to be quite hard that's like 95 rides and as you can see only i have completed um 30 rides um so currently it's still saturday 11 21 um i will be working till approximately like eight or nine o'clock in the morning like whenever the app kicks me off so there's a, still a chance left that i could actually uh do some rides um, however, I had to deal with some unforeseen circumstances with my vehicle where I had to do some service twice in a row. Uh, and if you're subscribed to my Land Rover Range Rover channel or my main channel, then you would know that I had some uh, brake wear and um, scraping issues in my right rear, uh, right uh, front tire, excuse me. And uh, on top of that, um, my bearing has failed and it was wobbling um, and uh, rotor needed to be replaced and also my caliper uh, which is a two piston was only opening up more on one side of the piston than the other uh, and yeah like you could see like lots of issues all in one and um, on top of that somehow the dust pan the dust um, uh shield uh behind the rotor it was a little bit bent somehow and it was actually touching the rotor i guess that happened when um uh, the bearing was loose because things was just like a little bit wobbly so perhaps it bent it because it was touching it when i was churning but um yeah all of this stuff happens in the same week uh and just repaired everything yesterday and somehow the the um the dust shield for the rotor was slightly bent and I did not notice that because it was not immediate uh, type of sound and I went to work like that and I worked for 10 hours and after I worked 10 hours I decided to come home a little early which is still not early like I made it home by like 5 a.m. It's just uh, that noise was just embarrassing to say the least because you know you got a nice vehicle right and um, when that noise is being made it's it just i don't know it just makes it look like it's so cheap you're pulling up to somebody even at low speeds it's like scraping it's like you know what the heck you know but nobody ever questioned it you know but i was a little bit embarrassed you know especially for customers um so with with this you know i got some delays because um i definitely had some different plans to try to get this 95 rides i was planning to start working very very late on thursday that way I could get uh, as much of a uh, late Friday morning, uh, well, beginning of Friday, I guess, uh, but like after five, wanted to do as many rides as possible, but I could not do none, none of those things because I had to, um, uh, started doing work on the Thursday uh, to hopefully leave that day. But since I needed to replace the rotor, I ordered it and only arrived uh, 1, 1 p.m. on Friday. So, yeah, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I just wasn't really expecting that I had to go in for a second time and do it. But now everything's great. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like unforeseen circumstances we all kind of go through uh, with our cars because we are putting tons of miles on them. Uh, with that being said, my Range Rover is now 169,000 miles. Like seriously. Uh, and I bought it with 153,000 miles. So I'm considering myself quite lucky that it has lasted that long but because i'm working so much uh even though um for the most part just working like three to four days a week like friday through sunday or sometimes thursday through sunday i'm also having to manage other things uh in my life and there's just like a lot on my plate and i think everybody's life is like that to where i cannot actually do proper service that i would like to do on the range rover so I haven't even replaced the oil because there's other issues that I have to deal with. Um, so I have 15,000 mile oil in here. Uh, and normally I don't even do that, but you know, there you go. So 
I already ordered all the oil, it came in, um, and uh, I'm gonna just try to replace it on a, probably either a Monday or a Tuesday. I'll have to do it then. Uh, and there's still lots of other work that I have to do. That's, some of it is, you know, cosmetic and really unnecessary, and some of the stuff is a little bit necessary. So yeah, there's, there's that. Um, but, you know, you guys seen the videos with the Range Rover when I bought it. This is the only reason I'm actually bringing them up um, because uh, I just have to deal with that. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments below if you're having to deal with something else uh, with your vehicle because uh, it feels like I'm the only one, right? But we're all putting miles on our vehicles and sooner or later, you're gonna have to do some kind of service. Now, all of the stuff that I mentioned, this is minor. This is like normal uh, wear and tear. Uh, replacing brakes, bearings, uh, rotors, brake calipers, like all of this stuff is quite normal for cars. Like it's just a normal wear items. I mean, there could be things a, a lot worse, obviously. So by no means, this is because I have a Range Rover, you know. Um, with all that being said, guys, I am trying to work on this bonus here and hopefully I'm gonna make it. So. I'm probably not gonna make too many update videos on how I'm actually doing it, just to not really make this uh, boring. But on the Monday morning, once I complete my Sunday shift, I will make a video to let you guys know how much money that I make and, you know, just tell you if I made the first, well, the first portion of the bonus I will definitely complete. That's like no doubt about it, but will I complete the 90 rides, uh, 95 rides, uh, that's another story. But I'm planning to make, planning to make, hopefully, between 11 and um, uh, 1200 dollars this, these uh, three days that I'm working, planning to. So we'll see if that actually happens. I mean, that would be nice. But I was watching some videos from other rideshare guys that are doing like Uber Black and I was thinking they're doing so much better than I am. And yes, they are, they're making quite more. But when I look at their overall weekly, it's like 1200 to $1,500, you know, sometimes 1900. And you guys already seen, I've done that before and I'm just economy service. Not that I'm trying to brag or anything or say that I'm like really good. I've seen a lot of you guys write to me that you're doing even better. So, um, the only difference is I'm putting way more miles on a car. So when you're doing like Uber Black, if you just select that you're doing Uber Black and I guess maybe like some kind of like a Lux uh, portion of it too and just, or maybe like Excel and just turn off the economy or whatever. And um, you're gonna be doing a lot of city. But when you do get those rides, you're gonna be making a lot more money than we're making because we're making like pennies compared uh, to Uber Black and whatever. But um, at the end of the day, economy class like me is gonna have way more miles on a vehicle. So I'm thinking if you are trying to minimize the amount of miles on your vehicle um, and maximize the earnings for those very miles, you definitely should get you know, into like Uber Black, like like Lyft Black at, at the very least. It's a lot easier to get into a Lyft Black than Uber Black. Um, but I'm gonna work on trying to get my TCP license. There's just a lot that's going on, just a lot. Uh, and which is preventing me from really getting there um, as as soon as I want to. But I'm sure this is like with, with anybody. Um, but anyways, I'm here at my pickup. I don't, think the person is out just quite yet um let me know guys what you're trying to do are you trying to get your tcp license do you have one uh do you do like uber black or like lux black uh type of service and what kind of car are you using and like what do you think is going to be the best type of car because me looking at this uber black situation like uh lift black if I'm not gonna be putting like a lot of miles, then I'm not gonna really have a range anxiety. And I think a Tesla would be really good for it. Like uh, either Tesla model, I mean, any test like, well, model Y is the, the Tesla that does qualify. This is like from newer and they're considerably cheaper than like, let's say like a model S or a model X. 
uh, unless you're really getting it used and you only really need like a 2016 model so maybe it's worth getting a 2016 model s let's say or like model x or maybe it's worth just getting a brand new model y uh, because i mean they're still kind of nice kind of like a crossover and if you get a black on black you could definitely do um uber black uh, with that car or lux black it does qualify which is great so i'm thinking for the miles and for the efficiency and because you don't have to really go that far i think range is really not going to matter you could just you could literally be waiting uh at a charging station for a very nice run go ahead and do it come back to any other charging station and just doing like another uber black you know so i'm thinking for that reason that would be pretty good oh crap i haven't arrived i don't know if it really matters or not but an uber it's automatic and um even though i haven't done uber in a while um sometimes i could you know forget to hit arrive especially if i'm talking um with all this being said guys i am trying to update my vehicle but there's a lot more important things that's happening in my life like for instance i am trying to get my ebay store off the ground i have a uh, like over thirty thousand dollars of stuff listed i'm trying to add more listings to it so that's something i'm working on from like monday through thursday i am selling some stuff which is good and at the same time i'm, I'm in real estate school right now but i'm not really doing the school like i'm in it it's online and i feel like i'm probably not going to be able to complete it uh which kind of sucks but there's only so much you could do uh also something that i've talked about a lot is i'm trying to uh get a shop built this year so i could work on cars and you know fix and flip them also you know like it's gonna help my ebay store because i'm gonna have you know like a little bit more you know shelves and whatnot um but that's just a lot of stuff on my plate a lot of stuff on my plate and also i'm planning to travel to india this year and i would like to go to cancun mexico and uh, some other places um and on top of that trying to get my tcp license which is not immediate but the very immediate thing that i can do i have um 2007 bmw x5 which is a seven passenger it's got a third row seat it's a black with a beige interior um sure it's not a brand new car but if i switch from this range rover to that car i could start making money as a uber xl uh driver because uber will allow me to be on that platform and the same thing for lyft i could start doing um like uh just a lyft xl so i will be getting paid a little bit more if i only do xl right but that's the immediate thing that i could do but i still have to go over with that car you know through that car like and fix everything there's just so much i gotta do with it and i uh, you know with that car and i got a bmw channel so i'm gonna be making those videos and putting them on my bmw channel also they're gonna go on my main channel which has thirty thousand subscribers for the automotive type of stuff um but that's the immediate change that i could do and i'm just gonna have to i guess uh live with that you know um after this i'm gonna be on the lookout for getting a smaller range rover maybe like a 2016 like range rover uh maybe get like a black one okay my customers here okay well thank you guys see you